Hey guys, welcome back to Dragolia Loss. I'm Cromber Gaming here. We're gonna jump right in, get started with this. Um, see, today we're gonna be doing the uh, chest path. So we're gonna be continuing down the air, get the chest, and I'm gonna. Uh, that'd be the uh, that there. Yeah. That'd be this episode. All right. All right. Down to the chest it is. Oh, good. We got a story. I'm losing my mind. I can tra uh, smell a dragon's presence nearby. It's close. Quite close. But Jupiter would never come this far down the mountain. I'm certain it isn't any of your dragons, darling. Ahem, you're forgetting a... <laughs> you're forgetting a dragon mime. An yeah, especially cute and talented one. I would certainly recognize the scent of my own man and... and <laughs> Nodi. Not you, silly, over here. Please don't try to trick me into craning your neck into wildly like a maniac. Now stop telling tales about this imaginary dragon friend before I get cross. I'm not imaginary. I'm really here. I'm in all my dragony glory. Don't you know that fairies are descendant kin of the dragons? So if you smell dragon, it, that's me, your sniffing sister. You, dragon? You? Good heavens, you may be right. I mean, it's tiny people and scarcely uh, detectable, but there is mana in you. Well, there is a simple test to solve this once and for all. If you're truly a dragon, you will have to, uh, you know, you will have a tail. Hold still while I get to the bottom of this. Oh, geez, what's the idea? Mind your own beeswax, dragon lady. Have some freaking dignity, a uh, mime. Sheesh. You give someone wings, fire breath, and a few tons of muscle, and they think they're better than everybody. I mean, try telling a dragon that your family went, <laughs> you're all tiny and weak like a poor old me. They kicked me out, like literally punted me face first in the castle garden. I'd still be there, and now watering the lawn with my tears if Zithia hadn't found me. She wiped the tears and gun, uh, gun, tears and gunk and worms from my face and gave me nectar to drink. Then I told her my story. She was, a, she said I was every bit a dragon that that my kind were a treasure to the entire world. How very quaint. Plenty of humans worship dragons, but buttering up a fairy is rather abnormal. Zithia isn't abnormal. She's nice. And the... The... the, 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 the thank you very much. I can't pronounce either of those. I ain't gonna try. <laughs> the teaching of the goddess says to treat all dragons with respect. I was hurt and alone, and she was my friend when I really needed one. So Zithia is sweet on dragons, hmm? And my darling is her twin? So if I were to <laughs> succumb to a, a, clever, a grievous wound, he would race to my side and be <laughs> all in his power to save me. Thank you for that little tidbit, <laughs> Nodi. I will, uh, come... It will come in handy right now. 
Oh, jeez. Ah, I've fallen on the steep path and I skin my knees and my arms and earlobes. I feel faint, darling. Help me. Jesus Christ. Ah, mime, are you okay? Hold still. Oh, jeez. Ah, this is all. This is all too easy. Now come, come and take me in your arms. <laughs> Cleo, she needs he healing. You can take care of that while I make sure no one else is hurt. Ah! Uh, ignored. What? Ah, that sneaky little fairy sold me a bill of goods. Where exactly are you injured, Mime? In my heart, Cleo. I am injured in my stupid heart. Find me me some medicine for that. Mm, might this work? There are an old pair of Hewden's <laughs> gloves. Ooh. They still have a smell. So relaxing. <laughs> I treated the symptom, but I fear I've made the made the underlying condition worse. Oh, Jesus Christ. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys enjoyed that as every bit of much as I did. Alright, the three mountain fiends. That was, uh, that was really something. Can't lie about that. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, yeah. I, uh, updated my party a little bit. You can see that, uh, I have a new sword. As well as I have given, uh, Euden a fire dragon instead of the unicorn. Um, I had found out that the characters get stronger with a specific dragon that they are equipped to. Like a Yudin is fire, he needs a fire dragon. Uh, this girl, I forgot her name. Look. I can't even see her name because it's covered by her freaking avatar. But she's light, so she needs a, 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 a light dragon. So I gave her the unicorn. She's water. No, oh. Okay, I didn't know I could just switch. Alright, so she's water, so I gave her water, and he's dark, so I gave him Juggernaut. And why? You can only use one of each co-ability type at one time. <laughs> Alright, let's get into this. Sacred Shards. Shards with holy uh, principles. They have the power to ward off fiends, and they have been placed around the kingdom in order to protect his people uh, from a grave threat. These are the uh, things that are uh, deteriorating around the kingdom. Oh, very nice. Get started off right off the bat. Oh, Jesus Christ. Holy shit. Why is there three of them?
Sorry about that noise, a cat went after my headphones. Sure, I'll send a firm request then. Oh, that it? Hmm. Well, I hope you liked the video. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, leave a like. Comment down below if you uh, want more of this. Uh, and subscribe and share. And as always, I hope you enjoyed.